a new council called Mobilizing Olmstead Voices for Equity, or MOVE. It's a council made up of community members and Olmstead County staff, all to ensure that county services are being examined through a diverse lens. And joining me now is John Edmonds, the Olmstead County Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Coordinator to talk about the new initiative and what it means for the community. Thank you so much for being here, John. Oh, thanks for having me. And we just found out we have a, a commonality that your wife is from Fargo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Always a small world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, tell us about this initiative and um, how we can get involved, what it means for our community. Well, I think, first of all, it's, it's been something in the works since, since 2017. We've been, wow. you know, kicking around the idea. And, and finally, in January of 2023, we started the actual planning for this. And we engaged some, some folks from the community, diverse folks from the community, to partner with some of the staff. And, and we basically built the architecture for the, wow. for, the, for the council. And we're at the place now where uh, we're recruiting members. We put out applications and, and we're taking in applications. And um, we're looking to, to, to kick this off by probably in September, we'll be, we'll be able okay. to kick this off. But it's, it's really exciting. I mean, it's, yeah. it's something that, that, um, that we haven't done before. So this is new territory we're, we're, we're charting here. But it's, it's an attempt to, to, to make live the, the county's uh, strategic priority of, of building, building trust and engaging the community. And this is really the way in which we're, we're going about that. So we're going to have a group of, of citizens of, of Olmstead County who are representative of the population here. So that's, that's actually been quite an undertaking to figure out exactly how do you, how do you craft a group that, that is representative. Yeah. But, but I think we have. Okay. Um, and, um, and this group will, will be able to provide the county leadership as well as program managers, et cetera, with, with input and, and feedback on how the program, various programs that Olmstead is, uh, offers, how it's impacting folks in the community, folks who are actually living that experience. Yeah, and all that takes so much time. Like you said, you know, it's been in the works since 2017, and I think about, you know, what, what you're trying to do here, it does, it takes time. It just, it takes effort of really reaching out like you're doing to the community members. So yeah, thank you for, for putting in that work. And then yeah. now here we are. Yeah, it's, it's, as I said, it's exciting. It's, it's, it is. it's kind of scary in some ways. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's one of those things where careful what you ask for because <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get. But, but I think it's, it, it fits with the values that we, that we hold where yeah. We really value the, the voice of the community, mm -hmm. and we feel that it's important that the community have a platform, a, a, a standing platform to be able to, to give, to provide input mm -hmm. uh, to the county. Because that's what you're, you know, we're ultimately trying to do is to connect people, right? To connect people, have the services available that people need, and we just mm -hmm. can't do that without good communication and a good representation. Right, yeah. right. I mean, it's, it's, it's it collabor collaboration is really the, the key here. Yeah. And we really feel that, that the, the community and the, and the county are, are the, co the, the true collaborators, and, and we need to foster that. Yeah. So um, speaking of fostering that, um, if people are going to apply or people watching are interested, how can I get involved? Um, what are what are you looking for, I guess, as far as people applying and how can we do that? Well, we're looking for people who are really interested in, in representing their community, uh, not coming in with an agenda or anything like that, but but truly feel that um, that they they want to be they want to be connectors basically that's yeah. actually what we're calling the members okay community connectors nice uh, to be able to connect their constituents you know their communities whoever the, the cohort that they're representing yeah uh, to connect them to this the service that the programs and services that we're offering and <clears throat> we're going to be so we, we've got applications out there. We've got a website. And yes, we're, and, and we're going to put that on our website, too, so that, you can easily get in touch with that. Yeah, and so, you know, I, I encourage anyone who's interested in and committed to doing the work. I mean, we're, one of the things we're going to be asking people to do is make a commitment to, 
to be involved in this for about two years. Okay. So, so to take that seriously, yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, John, thank you so much. Our time goes too fast. <laughs> I, I appreciate you. And so we'll have more information on our website as well. And still ahead, we've got Rubens and Things Food Truck here to taste some of their items on the menu, plus the latest on some local healthcare workers holding an informational picket this afternoon. Your local headlines with Noah Kaplan are next.